The Earth is an incredible planet, and without humans, likely we've never existed in the first place. It is the home of humanity, including all of our culture and inventions, with some of them having been lost to time. There and there. Huh. As the years go by, some of the wonderful things belonging to the Earth become buried, and eventually humans dig them up and rediscover them. You would not believe how incredible some of the things are that have been found underground, sometimes by accident. Here are 15 of the most amazing things that have been found buried underground. Number 15. The Ancient City of Nanmadal Nanmadal is an archaeological site adjacent to the eastern shore of the island of Pompeii, now a part of the Matalaim district of Pompeii State in the Federated States of Micronesia in the western Pacific Ocean. Nanmadal was the capital of the Sadalar dynasty of Micronesia until around 1628. The city constructed within a lagoon consists of a series of small artificial islands linked together by a network of man-made canals. The site core encloses an area of approximately 1.5 kilometers by 0.5 kilometers and contains nearly 100 artificial islets composed of stone and coral. The name Nanmadal, loosely translated, means within the intervals and is a reference to the canals that crisscross the ruins. But Gus showed me to find out more about the people. The original name was Su Nan Lang, which translates to Reef of Heaven. The city is one of today's great archaeological enigmas belonging to a society that we know very little about and is sometimes referred to as Atlantis. It's interesting that such a massive and gorgeous city was constructed by a population of only around 25,000 people, especially considering how little can be verified about the megalithic construction. Hopefully, more can be discovered about the city so more light can be shed on its mysterious origins. Number 14. A Prehistoric Map of the World the world. The Piri Reis map is a world map compiled in 1513 by the Ottoman admiral and cartographer Piri Reis. Unfortunately, only roughly one-third of the map survives to this day, and it showcases the western coasts of Europe and North Africa and the coast of Brazil with reasonable accuracy. Various Atlantic islands are also showcased, including the Azores and the Canary Islands. And a small part of what seems to be Japan is also depicted. What really makes people wonder is the small small section near the southernmost section of the map, where part of a landmass that seems to resemble Antarctica can barely be seen. Antarctica was not an explored region of the world at this time, so it would not make sense for it to exist on a map this old. Yet here it is, plain as day, on a map that predates the history of the continent. It's unknown exactly how Piri Reis came to the conclusions he did regarding what to put on his map, but many believe that he had some sort of help from a species other than humans. Number 13. The Horde of Saddle Ridge the Saddle Ridge Hoard is the name given to a hoard of 1,427 gold coins unearthed in the gold country of the Sierra Nevada, California in 2013. The face value of the coins totaled $27,980 but was assessed to be worth $10 million. The hoard contained exactly $27,460 in $20 coins, $500 in $10 coins, and $20 in $5 coins all dating between 1847 and 1894. This collection is the largest known discovery of buried gold coins in the United States and is one of the largest in the entire world. The Saddle Ridge Hoard was discovered on private property located in California and due to privacy concerns, the exact location where it was found has not been disclosed. That makes sense, of course. The people who own the land probably don't want a million gold-hungry prospectors coming to their land and demanding to be allowed to tear it apart. The couple who discovered the coins have also chosen to remain anonymous, and they're only known publicly as John and Mary. The couple had lived on the property for several years before finding the coins and maintained that they had no idea who buried them there. The couple named the hoard after a rock that they observed on their property, which they lovingly dubbed Saddle Ridge. Number 12. Dinosaur Unlike Any Seen Before on the afternoon of March 21, 2011, a heavy equipment operator named Sean Funk was carving his way through the earth, unaware that he would soon come in contact with the closest relative to the dragon. That Monday had started like any other at the Millennium Mine, a large mine located within Alberta, Canada. 
Hour after hour, Funk's towering excavator gobbled its way down to sands laced with bitumen, which is another name for fossilized plant material that has been in the Earth for over a hundred million years. It was the only ancient life he regularly saw. In 12 years of digging, he had stumbled across fossilized wood and the occasional petrified tree stump, but never the remains of an animal, and he'd certainly never found a dinosaur. Well, on this day, however, Funk discovered the fossils that you're seeing in this video. It was the remains of a nodosaur, one of the strangest and most peculiar dinosaurs ever discovered. They truly look more like dragons than anything else, and Sean was incredibly excited to have found something that contributed so heavily to understanding the history of the planet. Number 11. The Dawn of Civilization Gubekli Tepe, also known as Potbelly Hill, is a Neolithic archaeological site in the southeastern Anatolia region of Turkey. It dates to the pre-pottery Neolithic area, meaning that it was constructed sometime between 9500 and 8000 BCE. Now, many of these pillars have remarkable carvings on them, wonderful carvings and bas-reliefs of animals. The site comprises a large number of large, circular structures supported by massive stone pillars, the world's oldest known megaliths. Many of these pillars are decorated with abstract carvings depicting humans, including clothing and reliefs of wild animals, which provides archaeologists a rare insight into prehistoric religion and iconography. The site was first used at the dawn of the Neolithic period, which in Southwest Asia marks the appearance of the oldest permanent human settlements anywhere in the world. The Neo the Neolithic Revolution is heavily tied to the advent of agriculture, but professionals disagree on whether or not people settled down to farm or if they farmed to settle down. Either way, this is one of the oldest known man-made sites in the world, and it gives an interesting look into how the average prehistoric person lived. Number 10. Sphere Made by Aliens? These small, unassuming spheres might not look like anything special, but their roundness is very antithetical to almost everything that forms in nature, which tends to avoid forming perfect spheres at all costs. They've been named Klerksdorp spheres, and a couple of them have been found throughout the world. They are generally very out of place, being found in sedimentary rock despite their very solid appearance. And the craziest part is that they're believed to be up to 4 billion years old. 4 billion! Humans have only existed as we do now for a couple hundred thousand years, if that. So there's no way that we carved these oddballs and hid them throughout the layers of rock for our future ancestors to find. The only explanation is that something else made them, and for some reason left them on Earth during the early days of its formation, when the first bacteria hadn't even formed on Earth yet. There was no life whatsoever when these spheres formed. There doesn't seem to be any natural way for these spheres to emerge. They are quite distinctly round, carved out of an odd stone, and are mysterious to every researcher who has checked them out. They were clearly made by some sort of intelligent life, but who could have done it? What sort of extraterrestrial life has existed for billions of years? Or perhaps they've died out, and these odd spheres are the only thing that remains of them. It seems like a lonely existence having died out long before their cosmic neighbors even began. Number 9. The Remains of Noah's Ark most people have heard the story of Noah's Ark, even if they don't belong to the Christian faith. It's an incredibly popular story and very important one to Christianity as it showcases how humanity survived the massive deluge that is actually present in most religious texts throughout the world. There and there. Huh. A team searching for the wreckage of the Ark claims to have found seven large wooden compartments buried at 13,000 feet 4, meters above sea level, near the peak of Mount Ararat. They returned to the site with the film crew in October 2009. Many Christians believe the mountain in Turkey is the final resting place of Noah's Ark, which the Bible says protected Noah, his family, and pairs of every animal species on Earth during a divine deluge that wiped out most of humanity. The structure is partitioned into different spaces, said Noah's Ark Ministries international team member Man Phi Yuen in a statement. We believe that the wooden structure we entered is the same structure recorded in historical accounts. Many people are skeptical about the discovery, but considering the amount of evidence coming forward, it could be possible that they found it. Number 8. 
tomb of the first emperor. The Terracotta Army is a collection of terracotta sculptures depicting the armies of Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. It is a form of funerary art buried with the emperor in 210 to 209 BCE with the purpose of protecting the emperor in his afterlife. The figures dating back to approximately 200 to 300 BCE were discovered in 1974 by local farmers who came upon them by accident. The figures vary widely in height according to their roles in the army, with the tallest being the generals. The figures include warriors, chariots, horses, and many other aspects of the emperor's army. The site contains roughly 8,000 soldiers, 130 chariots, with 520 horses and 150 cavalry horses, with the majority remaining buried in the pits near Qin Shi Huan's mausoleum. It was a massive amount of terracotta work simply to be buried, and those farmers made an incredible find when they located the first of these warriors. Number 7. The Real Ark of the Covenant In case you're not familiar with what the Ark of the Covenant is, it's generally understood to be a large ornate box in which the tablets containing the Ten Commandments from God are inscribed upon. Jewish and Christian tradition presents the Ark of the Covenant as the physical manifestation of God's presence and supreme power on earth and through the universe. Ancient Israelites marched the Ark into battle and brought whole cities to their knees. The Ark was so sacred that touching it meant instant death, and once it was laid to rest in the Temple of Jerusalem's holiest chamber, only the high priest was allowed in its presence. Of course, it was eventually stolen like most precious relics throughout history have been. It was eventually tied to Ethiopia in the 14th century and is said to have recently been discovered on their soil. Because Ethiopia has a massive Christian population, they believed it rightfully belonged to them, and now it is said to reside within Aksum at the Church of St. Mary of Zion. Nobody is allowed to enter the chamber to verify this, but considering the lengths they have gone to, it is very likely the truth. Number 6. African Calendar Older Than Stonehenge in 2003, a South African pilot was flying over the hills of a gorgeous region of South Africa when he unfortunately crashed his plane into the mountainside. He turned out to be unharmed, but when he exited his plane, he was met with an incredibly odd sight. He saw three massive monolithic five-ton stones sticking out of the ground, and behind them was a giant stone circle that he couldn't figure out the purpose of. He was no archaeologist, but he believed he'd stumbled upon something important. This structure was known only to a select few at the time and was accessible only by rough dirt roads past wild horses and massive fields, which were nearly impossible to traverse. The massive circle, now believed to be some sort of calendar to track the movement of the stars, is now dubbed Adam's Calendar. It is widely believed to be the first structure ever built by humans. Some even believe that it was made by a civilization that has vanished from the world entirely leaving behind nothing but this structure. This claim has been disputed by many, but there have been no serious claims as to the actual civilization that built it. Whether or not that is actually the case, nobody knows for sure, but what is certain is that it generated plenty of buzz from the media, and many people are convinced that this really is the last gasp of a civilization that died out. Before we go on, do like this video, smash that subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or the centipede will crawl on your face while you're sleeping. It's time for today's subscriber pick. This incredible photograph showcases several men as part of an archeological dig in which they are uncovering a sarcophagus to showcase the mummy inside. The one in this photograph is very brightly colored, showing that it was stored well in the burial chamber and hasn't been distributed in a very long time. The mummy inside could belong to any number of important historical figures, and the submitter of this photograph didn't shed light on which one this belonged to. Either way, it's always a very incredible find when new mummies are unearthed, so they can be studied for scientific purposes. Whose mummy do you think this could be? Do you think anything terrible happened to the men uncovering it due to some sort of curse? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag subscriber pick and let us know what you think. Now, on to the next topic. Number 5. The Tomb of the Griffin Warrior 
The Griffin Warrior Tomb is a Bronze Age shaft tomb dating to around 1450 BC near the ancient city of Pylos in Greece. The grave was discovered by a research team sponsored by the University of Cincinnati, and the site was excavated in late 2015. During the initial excavation, the research team uncovered an intact adult male skeleton and excavated 1,400 objects including weapons, jewels, armors, silver, and gold artifacts. Since 2015, the number of artifacts removed from the tomb has reached over 2,500, including a historically significant Minoan seal stone called the Pylos Combat Agat. This was also paired with four gold rings with detailed images from Minoan mythology. This tomb was a big deal because very little is known about the civilizations that ruled during the Bronze Age. Their sudden and violent collapse left very little to be studied, so anything from that age helps to fill in a massive hole in human history that always leaves archaeologists scratching their heads. Number 4. The Cloth That Christ Was Buried With the Shroud of Turin, also known as the Holy Shroud, is a length of linen cloth bearing the negative image of a man that is often ascribed to be Jesus of Nazareth. Because of this, many believe that the fabric is in fact the burial shroud in which he was wrapped after crucifixion. There is plenty of debate over whether or not the shroud is actually that of Jesus of Nazareth, but recent DNA tools have found promising results. It's obviously impossible to know for sure, but considering the amount of protection that the churches of the Italy have shown over the shroud for hundreds of years, it's obvious that many people within the religion believe that it is the true artifact. Either way, its discovery was a massive boon for the Christian religion, and many believe it only provides more evidence as to the crucifixion of Jesus. Number 3. The Most Beautiful Greek Structure The Palace of Nestor was an important center in Mycenaean times and was described in Homer's Odyssey and Iliad as Nestor's kingdom of Sandy Pylos. The palace also featured the story of the Trojan War as Homer tells us that Telemachus went to Pylos and to Nestor, the shepherd of the people, and he received me in his lofty house and gave me kindly welcome as a father might his own son, who after a long time had newly come from afar. Even so kindly, he tended me his glorious sons. The site is the best preserved Mycenaean Greek palace ever discovered and is the primary structure within a larger late Helladic era settlement, which was probably surrounded by a fortified wall at one point. The palace is a two-story building with storerooms, workshops, baths, light wells, reception rooms, and even a functioning sewage system. Number 2. Artifacts from an Extinct Civilization on September 9, 2021, the Sangxing Duai Museum in China held an archaeological press conference to officially announce the discoveries of pits 3 and 4 of the Sangxing Duai ruins. This included more than 500 ancient artifacts, many of which were immediately classified as national treasures. One of the latest and most interesting artifacts to be uncovered was a massive bronze mask, large enough that it was actually difficult for them to excavate due to the size and burial conditions. Nobody actually knows what civilization created these relics, they only know that it was a Chinese civilization and beyond that, very little is known. More will be discovered as the site continues to be excavated, of course, but finding a brand new and unknown civilization is always quite interesting. Number 1. The Tomb of the Boy King the tomb of Tutankhamun, also known by its tomb number KV-62, is the burial place of Tutankhamun, who is often referred to as the Boy King. The tomb consists of four chambers and an entrance staircase and corridor and is smaller and a bit less extensively decorated than other Egyptian royal tombs of its time. It probably originated as a tomb for a non-royal individual and was adapted after King Tut's premature death. Like all other kings, he was buried with a wide variety of funerary objects and personal possessions such as coffins, furniture, clothing, and jewelry. And because of the tight quarters of the tomb, these things were tightly packed. This tomb was the most famous ever discovered within Egypt because of the dense packing of the goods, which made it seem like there was a lot in comparison to the king's size. It became the most famous find in the history of Egyptology. 
Which of these things do you think are the most amazing? Do you think scientists will ever be able to identify some of the weirder objects on this list? Tell us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. It helps us understand the kinds of videos you like, and that way we can tell what kinds of topics you're looking forward to watching next. Tap that bell icon if you love to learn new things, and we look forward to seeing you in the next one.